Welcome to episode 22 of Practical IT. My name is Jeremy and today we'll be going through the installation and a base configuration of Open Media Vault 4.0.9. As this version of Open Media Vault was just released on 11-13-2017, this is my first look at this new version as well. Okay, the first thing we need to do is download the ISO image. So you would head over to openmediavault.org. Select the download link and go ahead. Images can be found here. And you want to grab the image under 4.0.9, the 64 bit ISO image. I have already downloaded this, so we will minimize our Chrome window and head over to VirtualBox. Okay, as we've seen in VirtualBox before, we select new, give it a name, Open Media Vault 4.0, Practical IT. Open Media Vault is based on Debian Linux. And this is a 64 bit version. Continue. Okay, this appears to be a bug in the new version of VirtualBox, where it will not let you type in 2048 megabytes of RAM. So to get around this, go back, continue. We'll leave it as at its default and we'll come back to this uh, in a few moments. So we'll continue. Continue, continue. For our OS installation part, we're not going to store any data on this for our OS installation part. Eight gigs is plenty. So we'll go ahead and create. All right. So now we can come down here and go to settings. And the first thing we want to do is go to system, turn off the floppy drive, change the memory to 20. seem to type this morning display we don't need to worry about because it's a web interface storage we will come to our optical drive and we will select open media vault 4.0.9 network we want to change to bridged and we should be ready to go Okay, so we can go ahead and start our installation. I'm going to speed up the video during the installation because this is the same as installing Debian Linux and there is plenty of documentation on that. So I will come back when there are some Open Media Vault specific pieces and we will regroup at the end. All right, installation is complete. We can go ahead and select continue to restart. All 
All right, so we've got our Open Media Vault system up and running. As you can see, there's no direct interface when it ends up booting. This is because Open Media Vault is managed through a web interface. So the question you must be asking yourself now is, how do we get to the web interface? Well, we first need to log in at the command line and find out what our IP address is. So we'll log in using the root user and the password we specified during installation. And the command to find the IP address is IP ADDR show. And that tells us our IP address tells us that our IP address is 172.16.74.60. So we can go ahead and log out of the command line interface. All right, we'll start in Google Chrome and we'll enter in our 172.16.74.60. And it'll give us a nice login page. The default credentials for Open Media Vault are admin and open media vault. Alright, so the first step I would recommend is checking to see if there are any updates. And we'd go under system and update management. And we can check for new updates. We could select our packages and click upgrade. And we can click done. And go ahead and reload. We check update management once again. We'll see that there's nothing left to update. Now that we have installed the updates, we can go up here to the top right to the drop down box and we can shut down our Open Media Vault. And the reason for this is because we have to head back to VirtualBox and do a little bit of additional setup work. We're back in VirtualBox. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to storage. And as I mentioned before, currently we just have the disk where the OS part of Open Media Vault is installed. We need to add some disks for storage. We would click on our SATA controller and we come down here and we click add new storage attachment. Hard disk. Create new disk. Continue. Continue. We're going to call this just store one and we'll make this 10 gigabytes and create and we'll go here to create another hard drive continue continue also 10 Interesting. Apparently there are some bugs in this version of VirtualBox.
That'll work. So that's 10 gigabytes and that's 10 gigabytes. And we'll say okay. Now we're ready to head back into our VM. So we'll go ahead and start that back up. All right. We can bring back up our window that we had Open Media Vault open in. Get rid of shut down. Log back in. Root uh, admin. Open Media Vault. All right, so after returning to our web interface, which we've just done, we need to add the disks so that we can use them for storing data. Under storage on the left-hand side, we need to go to physical disks. Note that we now have three disks available. So this was the purpose of coming into physical disks, just to make sure they were showing up two of them at 10 gigs and one at eight. So we need to come down to RAID management and select, select create and you will get a dialog box prompting you for a name, RAID level, and the ability to select the disks. We're going to call our volume OMV store we're going to select the RAID level as Stripe, which is RAID 0, and select both disks. And we click Create and say yes to the confirmation dialog box. Please wait until the RAID has been initialized before creating a file system. OK and we click apply and yes again. All right, still in storage on the left hand side, we would come down to file systems. And like we did in RAID management, we click create. So we want to select our RAID device, which is this guy right here give it a label we're going to call it test store and we can leave ext4 as the file system keep in mind that this is a linux file system but when our project is done we won't have problems storing files from a mac or windows machine on our open media vault virtual machine we will go ahead and keep the default of ext4, click on OK, click yes in the confirmation, it says it's completed successfully, which it has, we can go ahead and click close. You should now see that we have both slash dev slash sda1 which is our boot device and slash dev slash md0 which is our raid device now notice under the mounted column for dev md0 it reads no our next step is to get this file system mounted so we want to make sure that our dev md0 is highlighted in yellow as shown here and click the mount button. And we'll have to click apply for that to take effect and yes in the confirmation window. All right, to recap, we have installed the system. We added additional disks, 
we created a RAID volume and mounted it. Are we ready to use the system yet? Well, no. Why? Because we have enabled any network protocols to access the storage volume, nor have we added any users or shared folders. These steps will happen in our next video. Thank you for watching the Open Media Vault 4.0 installation video. If you like this video, please comment, share, and like below. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.